Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing a video on this Ford Territory. Um, it hasn't been driven in six months, so I've just got it back up and running. Um, it's pretty much just sat in the sun for the last six months, just sat there. So this paint, even before I brought it, had it's just yeah, been stuffed. So it's got oxidation, it's got water marks, it's got swirls, it's got scratches. It's got everything in the paint that you pretty much don't want to have in the paint. So I'm going to do a, a, a video, just a before and after video. I'm going to show you the products that we're going to be using, how we're going to be doing it. I'm going to do some time lapse of the thing. But if you do want a more step-by-step -step process, I will do another video and slow things down more for people that want more into step and advice on how to remove this stuff. So today all I'm going to be doing is, I'm going to use a coating as well when I'm finished, but I'm just using a mother's one step. And then I'm going to finish that off with a total wax scratch and remove and swell remover. Now, I'm using more of the one step to bring the shine back first. I'm going to use the swell remover to remove any defects that actually puts in the paint. And I'm going to finish that off with a ceramic coating. So we'll get into that now and I'll get everything ready and we'll get this video started. Alright, so the first thing I want to show you guys is how bad this paint actually is. Now we're going to start on this side of the car and even from just standing here, I'm sure you can see how bad that is. You don't even need to focus in on the camera or nothing. It's, yeah, it's horrible. So we're going to start by work. We're actually going to work on this side of the car first because I've done a test spot on this side already. So we'll get this going. You can see where I've already done a test spot here. So we'll get this going. I'm going to do it this side. I'll do a time lapse of that and then we'll see how it comes up. Quickly, I've just gone over it three times with mothers, the one step. I just thought I'd show you the process we're getting so far. So I'll just give you a quick remembrance. This is how it was. Now, I've still got to hit it with the second one. But this is how it's coming up. It's looking all right so far. For a one step, it's actually working better than what I thought it actually would, especially for the price of it. If you come up, I'll try and get to there. You can't really see much, especially in the camera, it's hard to see. I can see stuff in the light. I always be, this is where I haven't done. And I'm going to come in now to where I have done. So it is removing a fair bit. I'm going to hit over it now with uh, the total wax and see what kind of result we can get out of that now. Alright, so I didn't do a time lapse for that video. Um, sorry for that polishing step, but I am going to do another one after this. Um, so I just wanted to show you the results we're getting so far. So, it's hard to pick up on the phone, but if you look right where the light's moving, you can see all the swell marks right around it. You can see them through the paint. You pick up through it on the phone. You can just see them all around as the light's moving. Now, if you come over to where we have done, you can even see how they're even worse here. Now, this is where we have done. looking a thousand times better no swirl marks no oxidation paints popping you can see all that sparkle through the paint these two products I'm gonna rate them at the end of the video but right now they're doing a fantastic job for especially for the price you pay for them. so I'm gonna now tackle a big spot I'm gonna do all up here all through this oxidized part and see how they go tackling this. noticed in that time lapse or not but I actually done four but I, I tried to start with the total wax so I just wanted to see how the total wax would go 
just on its own without the one step mothers first and yeah I wasn't happy with the process of that at all so I just went back and done three of the um, mothers instead um, so you can kind of see it you can see it up there I've only done this part so far and it's coming up good so far you can already see how much better that side of the car looks compared to where we started if I come back here yeah, you can definitely see the difference. <laughs> um, I am going to go a bit more over. I am going to do this. It is even still, it's removing the swells reasonably good. It works, it's working just as good as any other expensive product that you would buy. So um, I will cut the video here. I will finish the rest of the bonnet with these two products. Um, if you do hang around, I'm going to um, end up coating it if you want. I'll give a little bit of advice on how to do that and how it's done. Uh, what coating I will be using. Um, I will do an unboxing on a different video of this new coating that I am going to try because I have heard good things and it's really cheap. So um, I'll finish this off and I'll get back to you. Okay guys, here it is all finished. Um, I haven't done the coating yet obviously because I'm going to um, do that on a video for you. So this is the two step fully complete. There's some little marks that were in the paint that were just from bird shit and stuff like that. It just aren't going to come out. It's just wrecked the clear. And I'm sure you can all tell the difference from the beginning to now. All the swell marks pretty much came out. Got all the little scratches that I put out. It's just yeah, it's going to look even better once I put the um, coating on. So I'm about to go grab that now and I'll do the videos and show you how to apply that and the finished. Alright, let's get it done. Alright, so the first thing I want to show you guys is how bad this paint actually is. Now we're going to start on this side of the car and even from just standing here, I'm sure you can see how bad that is. You don't even need to focus in on the camera or nothing. It's, yeah, it's horrible. So we're going to start by work, we're actually going to work on this side of the car first because I've done a test spot on this side already. So we'll get this going, you can see where I've already done a test spot here. So we'll get this going, I'm going to do it this side, I'll do a time lapse of that and then we'll see how it comes up. Okay guys, here it is all finished. Um, I haven't done the coating yet obviously because I'm going to um, do that on a video for you. So this is the two step fully complete with some little marks that were in the paint that were just from bird shit and stuff like that. It, just aren't going to come out it's just wrecked the clear and i'm sure you can all tell the difference from the beginning to now all the swell marks pretty much came out got all the little scratches that i put out it's just yeah it's going to look even better once i put the um coating on so i'm about to go grab that now and i'll do the videos and show you how to apply that and the finished Alright, let's get it done. Okay guys, so i just done um, a quick unboxing of the coating I'm going to be using. I'm going to upload that. Um, you actually, you would have already seen that because this is going to be my second video. So this is the coating that you obviously know we're already going to be using. So I'm going to get into the coating now. If you've already seen that other video, if you haven't, you can go back and watch that. This is the stuff we're going to be using. HR9 Mr. Fix. So let's get into the coating now. <laughs> Okay, so I actually found that coating actually pretty easy to put on. It's pretty consumer friendly. Um, I actually found it easier to apply than the G Technic, and probably around the same as the Hydro, which Hydro is one of my favourites. Um, here's the car finished. So it's all done now. The two steps complete. Um, the coating's all on there. 
You can even see the difference now with the coating applied. Um, so I'm still going to give you this, uh, I can't really test it. It's just going to take obviously over time to see how well the coating works, but, um, I want to see how good it actually beads up. So I'm going to get some water. I was going to take it outside as it was raining, but it's actually stopped raining now. So I'm going to get some water and we'll see how well it beads up. <laughs> 